Hey everybody, all right, I'm in the midst of a crazy day here, but I felt I had to do a quick video to address this viral video that involved yours truly. A couple days ago, I was up in Hamilton, Ontario in Canada. Uh, I was doing an event with Maxime Bernier, who's running for prime minister from the People's Party of Canada, which is a new party that he formed, and it's mostly a libertarian party with some, some conservative beliefs, but they're very big on free speech. I happen to be into that myself. And in any event, Maxime and I uh, were headed to the event with a couple other people, and we had been warned already that Antifa was gonna show up. Uh, you may remember that a few days before the event that uh, the school, Mohawk College, that's the school that was hosting the event, uh, they said that we were gonna have to pay a 10 times security fee than they had originally uh, said was gonna have to be paid. I offered to pay that myself. I would prefer not to do it, but I wanted to make sure that the event would go on. It's unclear even now, days later, uh, if I am allowed to even pay it because there may be some campaign election law and obviously the, the People's Party of Canada will do their due diligence and if I can pay it, then I'm happy to do it because I offered it. Um, but if not, then they'll take care of it. In any event, we got to the event. Security there said to us, you know, there's a whole bunch of, uh, of Antifa people here, and if you don't know Antifa, these are the Cobra Soldier from G.I. Joe lookalikes who wear masks and they block traffic and they often get violent as they did with my friend and former guest Andy No up in Portland. Um, they, they stop traffic. Uh, they yell at people, you know, everyone's a Nazi and a racist and a bigot and all that. They actually, although they call themselves Antifa as if they're anti-fascist, they're the ones using fascist tactics of violence to silence people that they don't like because irony in 2019 is apparently dead. Uh, our security people said, you know, if you guys want to go in the back to make sure that there's no incident, feel free. But we all said, no, we've got to go in the front. We're not going to be cowed and and fearful of this group of goons and thugs. So we did go through and immediately when I got out of the van, you know, people screaming Nazi right in my face and, you know, getting up in our face and pushing and the whole thing and a couple people were arrested. Anyway, we end up doing the event, which was just wonderful. It was about an hour and a half long. We had a great chat about freedom, about liberty, about free speech, all of these things. There was nothing remotely racist, bigoted, homophobic, Islamophobic, or any of those other things. But the video that went viral is what I'm about to show you now. This is an 81-year-old woman who was on her way to the event. Take a look. All right, so that video has been seen about 8 million times on Twitter alone, and the woman herself then did a follow-up video, which is just beautiful. I've dubbed her Canada's grandma, by the way. Here is Canada's grandma. Free speech is a cornerstone of our democracy and can never and will never be denied. Yeah, that's right. In Western societies, you've got to protect free speech for all, whether they be on the left or on the right. Um, you know, one of the other interesting things, of course, about this is the way that the media talks or often doesn't talk about certain things because one of the types of fake news out there is that when the media just ignores something, when they purposely don't talk about something that goes against their narrative, I would argue that's a type of fake news. So in this case, um, try to imagine the reverse of this. So what happened here was that a right-leaning speaker, who is not racist in any way or any of those things, um, was going to be stopped from speaking and then to turn violent via left-wing Antifa people, far-left Antifa people. But now reverse it. Imagine if it had been Justin Trudeau, darling of the left, and there had been right-wing, or even though it's Canada, dare I say, Trump supporters outside violently blocking people and screaming all of these horrible things. You think the media would have covered that? Um, but the media barely covered this, except good good citizens did. The CBC, which is Canada's broadcaster, state broadcaster, they finally choked out an article, but they didn't even address anything that we talked about inside because to their dismay, there was nothing bigoted or racist or homophobic or the rest of it. Um, in any event, I am going to keep doing these talks. I will keep talking to people that I find interesting and thoughtful. And, uh, and we've got to call out the bad guys when we see them. Antifa are the bad guys. All the, you want to protest? You, you bring signs and you let people peacefully enter. You let people peacefully walk out. You can hand out flyers if you want. You know, there was a night uh, during the Jordan Peterson tour, I think it was in Amsterdam, where there was a whole bunch of protesters and they stood outside very peacefully. They handed out leaflets 
uh, about what their criticism of Jordan was. I actually read one of the leaflets on stage to a couple thousand people because they were very misguided in what they thought he believes. But I thought these are the type of protesters that actually respect Western values. Antifa is not that group of people. So just be clear on who the good guys are and who the bad guys are and those who are fighting for free speech and those who are trying to silence it. Anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about politics instead of nonstop yelling, check out our politics playlist. And if you wanna watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.